There was nothing special about the village of La Salette in southeastern France until a very special queen came to visit the region one day. No, not an ordinary queen, an extraordinary heavenly one. It all began with two children, Melanie and Maxim, who were tending cattle when they miraculously beheld Our Lady Queen of Heaven, who charged them with a message for all people. Keep watching to hear that message. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and it's so good to be here with you today. Thank you for joining me. If you want a mass said every single day in your name, well, you can click right about here. And if you would like to subscribe, so that way you never miss out another video, well, you can click right here. And if you want to hear an absolutely incredible story of Our Lady's power and love. Well, you could just keep watching. It was three o'clock in the afternoon on September 19, 1846. The two children, Maximine Giriad, 11 years old, and Melanie Calavat, 15, were tending cattle about three miles from La Salette, a small village in the French Alps, when they suddenly saw what looked like a globe of fire. As the light became brighter, it revealed a most beautiful lady seated sorrowfully with her hand in her hands and her knees on her elbows. Melanie later recounted that the Blessed Virgin attracted around her as in her person everything inspired majesty, splendor, and the magnificence of an incomparable queen. She also seemed to me like a good mother full of goodness kindness, love, and mercy. Earlier I told you a queen visited La Salette and this is what I meant. Everything about Our Lady is majestic. And Catholic thinker, Professor Plenio Correa de Oliveira would agree. He once said, when Our Lady entered there, everything was transformed into a palace. Why? because she communicates her glory to everything around her. But on to our story. Our Lady stood up and called the children to her, and they hurried to meet her. Then they noticed she was weeping. Melanie recalled this saying, tears. The Holy Virgin cried almost the entire time. Her tears ran slowly, one by one down to her knees. Then like sparks of light, they disappeared. They were bright and full of love. I wanted to console her so that she wouldn't cry, but it seemed that she needed to show her tears to better demonstrate her forgotten love for men. I find it fascinating that Our Lady's tears disappeared like sparks of light. But I wonder why. Uh, Professor Plinio shed light on this matter when he explained should Our Lady's tears have fallen to the ground? Should they form a muddy dough mixed with the earth? Can one understand a queen with clothes soaked with tears? No. So this image of disappearing like sparks is beautiful. A tear that shines at the last moment, it falling emits light and is then collected by the Eternal Father. This is a beautiful solution to a problem that could have easily become mundane. This is such a beautiful story, and it's the, exactly the kind of story that we feature all the time in Crusade Magazine. If you have been a subscriber to Crusade Magazine for a while, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you don't, if you don't, let me just tell you, we print a beautiful, fully Catholic, full color magazine. It's full of news articles, Catholic wisdom from the saints, and hundreds of stories of miracles just like this one. Each of our Child of Mary members gets a subscription to Crusade Magazine as one of their gifts when they become a Child of Mary. So, if you'd like to have a gorgeous and inspiring Catholic magazine delivered right to your door, well, take a look in the description down below. Well, 
you could also just click mm, right about here. And if you want to hear more about how the Child of Mary program works, you're welcome to stick around to the end of the video and I'll talk about it a little more there. Okay, back to the story. Remember, we had just learned that none of Our Lady's tears ever touched the ground, that they were collected up by the Eternal Father before they could touch the dirty ground. But there's a question you must have on your mind. Why did Our Lady weep? Well, Our Lady explained to the children, the urgent need to renounce sin, precisely two grave sins that were common in 1846 and even more common today. That's blasphemy and the sin of not honoring Sundays as a day to attend Holy Mass and a day of rest. Our Lady said, if my people will not submit, I shall be forced to let the arm of my son fall. It is so strong and heavy that I can no longer withhold it. For how long a time do I suffer for you? If I would not have my son abandon you, I am compelled to pray to him without ceasing. And as to you, you take not heed of it. Our Lady's words make me understand how ungrateful we are to Our Lady and how undeserving we are of the love that she freely gives us. <laughs> but I'll leave you with this. As the apparition continued, Melanie noticed something that she would never forget. The eyes of Our Lady. She said they were so beautiful that human language could never describe them. And her gaze was pure enough to be a heaven in itself. Professor Plinio said that after a person has seen this, he doesn't care about anything else and only cares about not sinning. May we have the desire to see the eyes of Our Lady in heaven in this way. Let's ask Our Lady of La Salette to fill our souls with her graces and help us to make reparation for our sins and others, as she also requested at Fatima, for the sins that make her weep. Now, about the Child of Mary group that I was telling you about earlier in the video. The Child of Mary group was created by America Needs Fatima so that we could focus our efforts on providing our members with as much Catholic education, news, and spiritual support as possible. Every Child of Mary member receives a subscription to Crusade Magazine, our full-color, fully Catholic magazine. That's packed with current news, Catholic news, articles, stories about the saints, prayer suggestions, and Catholic history, plus so much more. They also receive a beautiful metal lapel pin featuring the image of Our Lady of Fatima set in a gorgeous gold frame so that they can carry her image everywhere you go. And the best of all, as soon as someone signs up to become a child of Mary, our friend Father Jerry will start offering up a daily mass in their name the very next day. That's right, a daily Catholic mass is prayed for each and every Child of Mary member. I wasn't kidding when I said that we at America Needs Fatima wants the absolute best for our Child of Mary members. Now, if this sounds like something that you would like to be a part of, well, you can click the link in the description box below, or you can just wait a few moments and we'll place a link on the screen. So thank you in advance. And that's all we have for you today. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Every new Child of Mary member gets a subscription to Crusade Magazine as one of their gifts when they join. Become a Child of Mary today by clicking right here on your screen. As soon as you join, we will start sending this beautiful and spiritual Catholic magazine straight to your front door. Thank you, and may God bless you.